Hello and welcome to this presentation for Speak Out Upper Intermediate Unit 4.2 Vocabulary, Uncountable and Plural Nouns. We will look at common nouns which are uncountable and others used in the plural form. We will have three practice activities and then give some hints for further study and practice. On page 49 of your course book at the top, there, are, there is a reading passage with six uncountable nouns and eight nouns which we usually use in the plural form. Pause the video, read the text and try to find these nouns. So examples of uncountable nouns used in this text are luggage, soap, cloth, wood, concrete, time. Plural nouns, stairs, clothes, glasses, toiletries, outskirts, remains, cards, and locals. Of course, you may know words such as remain and local, but these are a verb and an adjective, respectively. We also have a word in English, woods, which means like a small forest. But here we're talking about wood, the material. With a word like card, as cards as used in the text, a pack of cards, we can actually say in English, pick a card, a common sentence by a magician. So you will hear this one used in a related meaning in its singular form. It's possible also to use, instead of stairs, we could use stair. He put the glass on the top stair. It's possible in English, but not so common. And also you may hear talking about somebody as being a local. Especially in British English, we use this for somebody that goes into the same pub a lot. He is a local. But usually these nouns are used in the plural form. There are also some words and phrases to help us count the uncountable. The example here with bread. In English, we cannot say one bread, two breads, but we say one loaf, two loaves, or one slice, two slices. But we also have some other ways. A piece of bread, two pieces of bread, five pieces of bread, etc. Maybe it is not a complete slice. We don't actually know. It might be, but it's not specific. A bit of bread, again, similar meaning to a piece of. But could we say an item of bread? The answer is no, we cannot. But we could say an item of clothing. We can also say a piece of clothing. That's fine. And it probably means a complete piece of clothing, like a shirt or a sock. Unfortunately, in English, there are very few clear, easy to follow rules on this that are always true. You can usually find an exception. The best way to practice this is the sound of English. If you read lots of text with a loud voice and you listen to a lot of English, you will get experience of what sounds right. And that can help you with many different parts of English grammar where the rules are sometimes often not so clear cut. Things like gerunds, infinitives, etc. So here is a first practice looking at rewriting these sentences using one of the uncountable nouns in the box. Pause the video here and try the activity. Okay. The answers now on screen. With sentence number one, usually, yes, we do use the word advice as an uncountable noun. You will hear in English somebody's advices. This is usually meaning comments rather than standard advice, as in the should, ought to variety. Exercise two. Read this text and find 10 mistakes with more common uncountable and plural nouns. When you've found the mistakes, add the uncountable and plural nouns to the table on the right hand side. Again, pause the video while you do the practice. So the 10 mistakes are here. Accommodation, facility, advice, means, contents, 
baggage, equipment, scenery, whereabouts, and how much food you eat. So the uncountable nouns here, accommodation, advice, baggage, equipment, and scenery. Plural nouns, facilities, means, contents, whereabouts. Practice three, which noun or nouns does not collocate with the phrase in the middle circle? Again, pause the video while you try this activity. But when, uh, when you find the noun that does not co collate, which phrase does it collate with? So the first one, room. We do not say in English a piece of room. We say a bit of room, meaning a bit of space. An item of. We don't say an item of information or an item of transport. A bit or a piece of information and a means of transport. A bit of. This was a trick question as all of them are possible. A bit of news, a bit of luggage, a bit of information, a bit of trouble and a bit of research. Further study and practice, of course, there is the My Speak Out, My Speak, My, sorry, My English Lab Speak Out Upper Intermediate Unit 4.2, looking at this same topic. There's also your course book on page 49. As always with vocabulary, produce your own sentences and remember to try and make these personal. Personal sentences, you can connect to the meaning and remember them more easily. Speaking. Say the sentences from the practice and your own sentences with a loud voice. Record it, play it back and check your pronunciation. Thank you very much for watching and good luck with your studies.